help you? Absolutely. If you go upstairs, um, you can go up the steps, take a right. You can go past the reference section. There'll be three or four shelves of reference books. Once you go past there, um, you make a left. That's right. And then you go down, and it's going to be in section 127. Okay? You're welcome. Please make sure that this piece of paper stays in the book. search by the last name. Um, okay. It looks like we have one copy available according to my files. We have three total, but two are checked out. section did you look in? Okay, but this is going to be in the non-fiction section. So what you'll need to do, do you know where the non-fiction section is? Okay. Um, no, it's actually the opposite way. You go this way, go down to take uh, your right, go down this aisle here, past the magazines and the newspapers, and then you're going to make a left, like heading towards the restroom. And they are going to be in that section right there. There's an entire nonfiction section. You need to look on aisle G, okay? Look on it. There will be different aisles. You need to look on aisle G, and the book should be there. According to my files, it is on the shelf currently. It has been returned to the shelf, so you just have to go look there. And if you don't find it, Please don't hesitate to come back and I'll see what I can do, okay? 
okay? All right, great. No, you're welcome. Thank you. library loan actually it is not located in this building first you have to go to the interlibrary own auxiliary office I'm going to write down that address for you what's well, no problem at all you just need to go to 127 West Main Street Sweet. Yes, that's right here in town. It's it's not far from here. And what you'll need when you go in, um, do you have the did the print out the slip that you need to get the book? Okay, you're going to need the item number. You will need your student ID or some other form of identification. Uh, we do prefer the student ID, if this is right. If you're from the university, we would like to see your student ID. Other ID is acceptable, though. Um, okay, but the main, the most important thing is the number item, the item number, because you'll need that to identify the book. So, you take this. Oops, you got it? that to the uh, auxiliary office. They are open today until 4 o'clock. The, normally they are open until 5, but not on Tuesdays. Okay. Alright, no, thank you. Um, just give us a call if you have any trouble. This was a request. What was that number? That number. I'm gonna have to look that up. PD. The lighthouse. Um, it's not there. Let's try this.
else may I help you? Certainly, I'll be glad to do that. Just a moment. Do you have the author's last name? And I actually have several of those. Do you have a first name or initial? Yeah. Okay. Um, the titles I have... Is it, what type of book is it? A mystery. Most of these, okay, there must be an author with a similar name because I'm coming up with um, several types of fiction books but no mysteries. Is it possible that it's classified as something other than a mystery? Oh, it's only a mystery to you, okay. Well, what type of book is it? Just, okay, just fiction. Well, let me see here. Do you remember any of the name, the words in the title? Okay, person. That helps. Okay, here we go. I think about it. I'm going to turn the screen your way. Does this look right to you? Okay. We do have a copy of that uh, on tape. No, however, we do have an online library of MP3s. We might be able to locate a copy that way. Let me look. You will be able to download it with the code that I will provide to you. Okay. Can I see your library card? I'm going to scan that. There you go. Thank you. All right. Your card is valid. It's active. So would you like to check out a copy of the MP3? It looks like we do have one available. will be available to you. Mm, just a moment. This MP3 will be available to you immediately and it will be available until February 4th without an, um, a late fee. Right, we'll have to do is you just log in online to your account and click check in when you're ready to check it back in just so whenever you're finished with it. You just click check in and it will check it back in. Okay? Great. Well, that has, um, I've completed that transaction for you. Is there anything else I can help you with? No? Okay, great. Well, you're very welcome. Have a good day.
help you? Um, not that I'm aware of. Let me check. Did you check them at, at the periodicals? Because if we have it, that's probably where it's going to be. But let me just, let me just confirm that. I don't think we carry that here. Um, now we do have car and driver. And that, let me look. That's going to be, car and driver is on rack number two. So, yeah, but we do not have road and track. Let me try it without the ampersand. No, I'm sorry. We don't have road and track, but we do have car and driver. Okay. Yes, it has been busy today. I'm very surprised. <laughs> it's been very busy. Okay, you are very welcome. Have a good day. your card to check that unless you know your uh, your library card number which most people don't okay thanks let me scan it there you go let me see you just want to know if you have any overdue books okay well you can certainly check that can you verify your last name for me and your first name enter date of birth have two overdue books. They are about, it looks like one is, one's about a week overdue, the other one's three days overdue. Um, Huckleberry Finn is about, it's, it's uh, eight days overdue. Mm -hmm. And then 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea is the second one.
Uh, if there's damage to the books, we will have to assess that at that time. And then, then we will go from there. We'll determine whether or not the damage is sufficient to warrant an additional fee or a replacement fee. Okay? So just bring them by. If you don't bring them by today, that's okay. You could still bring them tomorrow, and it would only be a dollar fifty. And when you reach the seventh day, it will be two dollars because the second book will have reached the seven day point, and it will be an extra fifty cents. Okay. All right, great. Thank you so much. Mm, I think I did this. Everything. change that. that. I don't know that we do. Let me see here. Is, you were looking for the original copy. Okay, let me look. Have you tried our Nathanville branch? No, oh, well. They will probably have it if we don't. Let me check our branch first. Okay, we do not carry that. Let me check. Um, I can go online and check the, left, the Nathanville branch to see if they currently have it available if you are interested in going to get it today. Okay. You can actually use your library card there as well because we are uh, linked. So uh, you don't have to have a card specifically for that branch. You can use your card for this library. Okay. Let me check and see if they have it. Okay, 
they do. They have one copy available, and according to this, it is on this shelf, and it's going to be on row 33, section L. Okay, 33L. They will also be open until 5 o'clock today, like we are. So, um, you have until 5 o'clock, and it should be there. Okay? Great. No, you're very welcome. Uh, is there anything else I can help you with? No? Okay. Well, thank you so much.